And I wrote the first draft of Don's Party before I wrote Removalist, and I showed that around, and I was trying to get it on at La Mama, and Bruce Spence, who was one of the actors there, said, look, this is a bit too middle class for us, David, you should find a tougher story than this. Um, and it just so happened next week, I was helping shift the furniture, and the removalist said it would be cheaper if I helped him rather than he hired someone. So I helped him and sat in the cabin as we shifted to another place, and he told me the story about what had happened last Friday, and that was the bare bones of the removalist story. <laughs> but it was his attitude that surprised me or intrigued me, because he thought it was a great Friday afternoon, really entertaining. Uh, <laughs> this, this stroppy guy uh, that didn't want his wife to take the furniture away, so the cop thumped him, cops thumped him and put him in his place. And he sounded like, wow, this was better than seeing a movie show. <laughs> and uh, and it, it struck me that there was something um, odd about the Australian mentality, that the casual acceptance of, um, of uh, arbitrary authority overstepping its mark uh, was, you know, um, in a society that's supposed to be anti-authoritarian, uh, didn't quite ring true. So I thought uh, it was his attitude more than anything else which led me into the play. I took it round to Bruce and he said, ah, this is more the stuff we want. Yeah, this is, uh, <laughs> this is a play about um, uh, police brutality. and." Um, you know, a working class hero, and I said, no, no, look, Bruce, it's not quite that. I think Kenny Carter is just as bad as the, uh, <laughs> as the uh, cops. I set out to write a play that told the story as truthfully as I could, given the bare bones of the story I'd been given. Um, of course, I pushed the story beyond what had happened in real life. Uh, Kenny Carter, the, the bad character, didn't die. Um, but I wanted to be truthful to the flaws of all characters. I didn't want to write the stereotype working class hero, victim of terrible police brutality. When it went on in the Royal Court at London, the great English director Lindsay Anderson came up to me in the foyer and said, I'm on the board here, I got it on, and you know why I put it on? It's because it's not about a working class hero getting savagely beaten by the cops. It's, uh, it's much more complex than that. The working class hero isn't a working class hero and that's what I like about the play. And um, because the English theatre was infested at that time or infected or uh, flooded with uh, black and white plays about working class victims and um, brutal authority and this was different.